Hey everyone, it's me, Adam P, and welcome to my favorite themes from March 2020. A month that is uh, a little bit different than others, let's just put it that way. I usually start with music, but I have to start with my ultimate favorite thing this month. Animal Crossing on Switch. I love it, I love it, I love it. I just love the gameplay of it. It's a lot different than what I'm usually used to. It's a life simulator, so you go day by day, deserted on an island, build it your own, people start to come on over, and you design it, you catch stuff, you sell. But the biggest thing about it that sets it apart from everything else is it's chill. You have a lot of things you could do, but they're not pressuring you, you know? It go at your own pace. It is a game for any age, from pro gamers to casuals. So for music this month, I found an interesting track called Murphy's Law by Rosalyn Murphy. She used to be part of this duo called Maloko, and I think they were pretty big in the UK. But this song I absolutely love. It's a fun throwback and it's an infectious beat. There is a four and a half minute version and an eight minute version and I always listen to the extended version and it was my song I always played while driving to work but you know that's on pause at the moment. Next, okay, Dua Lipa, Future Nostalgia. It's just, it, it's completely up my wheelhouse and it is one of my favorite things. I have been obsessed listening to the whole album front to back and I love it. It is Disco, dance, pop, infused, you could tell the references each track has. But it's to that point where she still made it original in her own unique way. My favorite tracks at the moment are Levitating, for sure. Pretty Please is a timeless bop, timeless bop, and then Hallucinate. It's definitely gonna be an album I'm gonna visit a lot, I can already tell. So for TV this month, I went with the legendary The Simpsons on Disney+. Plus. Just watching the first five seasons alone, you can tell the influences that this show has had on so many others that came after it. But the one thing that really stands out for The Simpsons is it has Heart. It's not just a one-dimensional jokes after jokes after jokes. There's actual situations and you see character growth and development. So it really is one of those shows where it's easy to watch. You can see it's 90s, but the stories in it are timeless. And lastly for movies, I finally watched the film I've always been wanting to see, which was Portrait of a Lady on Fire. It didn't come into my town on theater, so I was so excited that Hulu had it. I don't want to give too much away, but it is a French film. It's about a woman in the 1800s, 1700s, I want to say. This woman comes into this family who is hired to paint a portrait of a woman who is arranged to be married to someone she's never met. So the painter has to stare at this gorgeous woman beautiful and captivating eyes, her eyebrows, wait a minute, what am I starting to feel? Hold on. It starts a little slow, but when you get to the end, oh, your heart. Alrighty, well thank you guys so much for checking out my favorite things. I just wanna say I hope you all are doing the best you can during this time. Let me know what were some of your favorite things. Make sure you check me out on my YouTube, it's Adam Perry. And lastly, make sure you hit me up on my social, me T oh, and I'm I will see you guys next time for more favorite things.